and ready. And they are dispatched. Uncle George was slow away from the start, and so too was the newcomer Midnight Eagle. Beginning well was Siberian Fox. Mr. Bodacious alert from the starting stalls and down towards the inside. Also up there is Deep Dive showing good early pace. Outside of run is Lord Tennyson. Then we go back behind that to Coup Royal, who races four lengths off the leader. Further back to opening ceremony, an American Dazzler with into the Storm Uncle George and Midnight Eagle is tailed off. They run down towards the last 800 metres here and in front is Siberian Fox, led it a length and a half from in second Lord Tennyson. In third along the rail is Deep Dive, Mr. Bodacious, three lengths to track down, Coup Royal. Then in behind that comes opening ceremony, American Dazzler and into the Storm. Homeward bound, 400 metres left to go. Lord Tennyson's asked to go out and grab this front one, Siberian Fox. Lord Tennyson picks up the lead with Siberian Fox. Mr. Bodacious back in third. Then Coup Royal and opening ceremony, but it's Lord Tennyson with 200 to go. He's got a good lead here. Mr. Bodacious is out the pack with opening ceremony towards the inside, running on into the storm. But it's all about Lord Tennyson, and Lord Tennyson goes on by three and a half lengths. Second placing will go to Mr. Bodacious. Opening. So, first run here in the Eastern Cape for Lord Tennyson. I can confirm that owner Mr. Pizzolatti is on track today. And the son of Duke of Marmalade has come through to win it. First run on the poly track and first win. And well done to budding young trainer Kelly Mitchley. This was bred by the Rites Kroll Stud. And Ryan Munger has won it comfortably. Confirming Mr. Bodacious second and opening ceremony was third. Well, Kelly Mitchley comes racing today with that stable of hers that uh, she's a new young trainer. She brings one horse to the races, ends up in the winner's box in the form of Lord Tennyson. I think it's first run here, relocating from Gauteng. Ryan Munger in the winner's box. He'll tell us a little bit more about the son of Duke of Marmalade. Duke of Marmalade's like the poly, and this one did well. Well done, Ryan. Yeah, thank, uh, exactly, Neil. Um, you know, Kelly and Kyle had it spot on. They said, he's a little bit of a lazy fella. You've got to get into him. And, you know, that's what I did. I gave him a good warm-up. And even then, he still battled to sit up second. But top of the straight, he kind of... That's when he started to find his gear. And I knew if something challenged him, he's always just going to fight it off. And it's a nice debut for him on the poly. He's won a very good race today. I'm just having a quick look here. Wait, you never rode him in Gauteng, eh? No. No, no. First, first time I bought him, like I said, I knew nothing from him. And Kelly and Kyle, they had it spot on. Everything they told me... It was exactly like that. And, you know, that's what helped win the race. You know, another day he might have come out sluggish. He could have been further back than you wanted him to be and he would have run on too late. So, exactly. So, thank you to them. Thank you for the instructions. And, yeah, geez, I've got a good strike rate for Kyle and Kelly. Yeah, so, I was gonna say. yeah, whatever they're doing, it, they must keep doing it and keep putting me back on the horses. We seem to be doing so well. But I'm just grateful for the opportunities. Before I forget, the owner, Mr. Pazzolini, thank you so much to him. And, um, yeah, it's just a whole big team effort. Tremendous. And don't forget, Bryanson Auctioneers. Yeah, yeah, I was getting there before I go. <laughs> big thanks to Bryanson Auctioneers. You can never forget about them. Tremendous. That's Ryan. And you get your money's worth with Ryan Munger for sure, as a punter as well, not just the auctioneers as well, Bryanson. Kelly, stand a little bit closer. Stan Bikinada, as I said, Afrikaans. And well done. One runner on the day. And yourself and Carl, you said to me now, off air quickly, it's been a while. But it hasn't really. If you think of your number of runners to your percentage, your strike rate is very good win play strike rate. Well done to you. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, you know, we're trying really hard to keep the strike rate looking good and we're not really having a lot of runners and everything. Like today, we just had the one runner out. And it's so nice to have Mr. Nico Pizzolatti on course today. And, um, yeah, no, when we got him, Carl picked him on. He said, no, we've got to get this horse. And I'm like, oh, no. And then he says, no, we've got to take this horse. I like this horse. And then Nico took shares in him. And, yeah, no, it's a nice, good partnership. Tremendous. Now, I want you to stand there. Now, Carl, you're not going to say no. Come stand here, please. There we go. Get the teacher, <laughs> teacher voice out of Neil. There we go. Now, he always runs away, but Carl is a big part of this table as well. And uh, you can just lean the microphone over towards him. Carl, um, well done to you. Thank I think you so you're much. a guy that likes to be in the background. You're not always in the front as well. Kelly's putting in the effort. But as we always say, Kelly, you there as well. So it's basically, basically both of you. Yeah, no, no. It's, a, it's teamwork. I don't want to be in, like, 
in limelight. the limelight. So I always want to be at the back, but at East Teamwork, um, me and um, Kelly and I, we do well together. Yeah, I think so as well. And it's good for racing. You know, that's why we need to see more young people on television. And I mean, Kelly's speaking so well on television now as well. It's just a little bit of getting used to everything, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You've got a pretty good eye, but that runs in the family. Yeah, that's in the family. My dad was a trainer, so it's in the family. And yeah. I'm sure he's going to be proud of you guys as well. Thank you so much. There we go. Well done. Just a big, huge thank you to Nico Pizzolatti and congratulations to him and to Kyle and myself. Yeah, lovely win together. Tremendous. Well said, thank Kelly. You. Take the mic with you over there. There we go. There we go. That's Kelly Mitchley in the winner's box again. And I tell you what, it won't be too long before they're back here as well. She really, they're putting in the time, the effort, and it's good for racing.